Hey guys, Douglas here. For the week three recap, I don't give a fuck about the fucking Saints game. Even though I picked Atlanta to win, fuck it, don't care. Let's go on to, there were a lot of upsets this week. A lot of them. Like, what the fuck levels of upsets. And the first one, Philadelphia versus Pittsburgh. AFC North is some, some trash now, because... 34 to 3. What the fuck? Pittsburgh, you're some ass. Only scored three points in this second quarter, bitch. So, congratulations. Carson Wentz, oh my god, 301 yards. Good lord, dude. And that defense, good fucking night, Ben Roethlisberger. You got fucked in the ass. And Antonio Brown. Couldn't do shit. Could not do shit that game. He got fucked pretty bad. And, and, and god damn. Darren Sproles. 73 yard touchdown. Jesus fucking Christ. Like what the f... How? Pittsburgh is some booty. Booty. They suck. And you think them niggas say, oh, we're better than Baltimore and Cincinnati because we beat. Nigga, you guys got blown the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. I don't think Cleveland lost. Actually, yeah, Cleveland didn't lose that. They actually, did, did they? I'm not sure. I got to look at that score later. The Eagles are undefeated. They, they fucked up. They, they're fucking up every goddamn buddy. They've blown out every team they've won against so far. God, they're Super Bowl. Yep, Super Bowl contenders. Pittsburgh, just ass. Ass. Pittsburgh fucking sucks. <sighs> the Jets and the Chiefs. Now, I believe I predicted the Jets to win. Didn't happen. They got fucked in the ass. 24-3. Pretty bad, too. Fucking raped. Now... When you score only three fucking points, I just look at you like, how the fuck do you score three points? Should at least score more than three. Should have gotten the field goal range more than once. But no, they got, they got fucked. So, you know, Marcus Peters, fucking beast, my nigga. He's a beast. Two picks. Two fucking picks. He's a fucking wrecking that defense. He's wrecking in that defense. Just fucking up the Jets. D damn. D fuck, dude. Ryan Fitzpatrick could not do shit. Just got could not do shit at all. Cause you got shut down the entire fucking game. And then you have fucking Derek Johnson returned 55 yards. What the fuck? A pick six. God dude. God man. Just What the fuck? Eight turnovers? Eight turnovers. And I thought the Jets were gonna con were, were good this year. I thought they were gonna do shit. I was wrong. I was wrong. Very wrong. So New York has as juice teams. The only fucking team that New York has has done good with so far is fucking Buffalo. Really? And Buffalo and Buffalo is usually the laughing stock of New York. What the f 24 to 3. Are you. F what? And I didn't even give a fuck about this game. This shit just. What the hell? Just fuckery. Chargers Colts. I'm not sure who I predicted the win. But, you know, congrats, Indianapolis. You, you beat Chargers. Didn't really like the Chargers, anyways. Chargers were pieces of shit to begin with. So, you know, just 20, 22 to 26. Now, I was expecting a little more because I thought they had garbage-ass defenses. But, you know, defenses, they kind of showed up. They, they did get fucked, though. Andrew Luck, my nigga, nice. 63-yard touchdown. Thumbs up. Kudos to you. the fuck chargers just what the fuck i did i entirely thought y'all were gonna win but you know 
and, and two fumbles. They, the Colts recovered two fucking fumbles. C congratulations. <laughs> I, I swear, um, if I was playing like shit where I can just, I, I would lose a lot of money. I, I, good thing I did not put up any money because someone told me I was going to lose a lot of money. Phillip Rivers, you were like one yard behind Andrew Luck. Good job, bro. Good job. And then we have fucking Melvin Gordon being a badass. Not really, but 30, 35 yards is shit for a running back, but at least you got a touchdown. So, but Gore, holy fuck, 82 yards, my nigga, just, damn, <laughs> damn. Bears, Cowboys, I knew the Bears were going to get fucked in the ass. I knew they were going to get fucked. Hey, at least they tried to come back in the second half. Too bad it was already too fucking late, bro. They tried. One touchdown, third quarter, one touchdown, fourth quarter, field goal, second quarter. Too bad Dallas already scored 14 fucking points in the second quarter. They already they scored 10 before that, so... Y'all were destined to lose this game. Because the way y'all played against Philadelphia was, was some ass. Dak Prescott and, and, and Des Bryant. Mm. Jacob would be so proud right now. Even though, from what I can remember, I believe Des Bryant is hurt. So, have fun. And Ezekiel Elliott's proven that he's not a piece of shit. A hundred yards, a little more than a hundred yards, a hundred forty yards to be exact. He's actually proving himself, which is good. And then you have oh, oh and Dak Prescott, thirty-six rushing yards. Good job, bro. And oh yeah, I remember Jay Cutler or yeah, Jay Cl Cutler is injured. So, yeah, y'all already, already had a fucking problem since that fucking, the backup Brian Horror, you're some ass, ass dog, even though, three, 317 yards though, I can't really, I did say ass earlier, but, hey, what can I say, you, you did alright, you did alright, and two touchdowns, good job. Good job. All right. Um, is there more? Yeah, yes, there is so much more. All right, let's move on to hmm, who do we have? Texans Patriots. So you're telling me Texans? You didn't score any points for the entire fucking game? Get the fuck out of here. You guys suck. Get the fuck out. I don't want to talk about this shit. Because they're ass. Ravens, Jacksonville. Oh, my God. You, no, hold on. I got to get my Ravens hat for this shit. Justin Tucker is that nigga. I still have a tag on here. Haha, <laughs> That's funny. Justin Tucker is that nigga. Field goal at the end of the game to win it. 54 yards or 53 yards. This is my nigga for that one. Awesome. It was amazing. Um, let's see. Even though. Just, wow, dude. And fucking um, Blake Bortles. You did all right. You did all right. You proved you weren't a complete piece of dog shit. You're actually worth something. Yeah, four set. Mm, you're all right. Not really. When West runs more than you do, it's kind of sad. And when you fucking threw a pick to Weddle. What the fuck? What the fuck? You, Blake Bortles, I, I know I said you're all right. But when you throw two picks near the fucking end zone, it's like you're playing against 
Dude, like, Joe Flacco does that shit. And I bash Joe Flacco a lot for that bullshit. So, yeah. Did, oh, yeah, the score of 19-17. With, with, the, with the field goal. Oh, my God. New York. What the fuck? What the fuck? Eli Manning, you some trash, my nigga. You threw a pick at the end of the game, and you have a record for coming back in the fourth quarter or overtime to win a game, and you still fucking just, you blew it. You blew it worse than Cleveland did. Actually, no, you didn't. No, no. Cleveland blew it off worse. Even though, and Kirk Cousins, really? Kirk Cousins was that nigga today. He was. Even though I can't really bash Eli Manning too much, 350 yards, pretty good. Kirk Cousins, almost 300 yards, pretty good. Fucking Deshaun Jackson being a beast. Being a beast. Fucking burned um, Rogers Cromartie. And, and Rogers Cromartie's injured too. So, you know, that's great. Good to know. And Obel Odell Beckham Jr., did all right. Everyone loves Odell. And th the Kirk Cousins th threw the Jamison Crowder for 55 yard touchdown. Touchdown. What the hell? <laughs> Damn, dude. I didn't know you were that good, to be honest. I thought you were a piece of shit, but he's like. <sighs> and Josh Norman. You did pretty well against Odell. You did all right. And the congratulations, Redskins, for getting your first win as, uh, against the Giants since 2011. Congrats. Oh, and the score? Score, I believe, was 29-27. Yep. Lions-Packers. I knew the Lions were going to get fucked in the ass. They don't have Calvin Johnson anymore, so they really don't have much. And it's kind of weird when you score. You, you Like I said, it was kind of like the... Um, what, um... What the fucking, um... I forgot what I was looking at. I wasn't paying attention. But, um... You know, I did all right, Lions. At least you tried. I already knew you were, gonna you were destined to lose this game from the beginning. Matthew Stafford... Stafford, can't say his name right. He did all. He did okay. Even though fucking um, got Aaron Rodgers being a beast. Actually, no, my bad. Aaron Rodgers. It's the other way around. Aaron Rodgers, two hundred five yards, four touchdowns. So he did better, touchdowns wise. But Matthew Stafford, three hundred eighty five yards. Damn, dude, you are beasting it up today. And A.D. Lacy, damn. 103 yards and 17 carries. A.D. Lacy, proving yourself, man. You're proving yourself. And Marvin Jones, you, you did all right, too. Nice two touchdowns. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, bro. And this, nah, that's all I really have to talk about for this game. Like, there really wasn't much to talk about because Lions were going to lose anyways. And sh shout out to uh, one of my friends that lives in Michigan. I'm sorry. I've been to Detroit. The Lions fans are crazy. But they are not that good without Calvin Johnson. Browns Dolphins. Browns fucking blew it. In overtime. Ryan Tannehill beasting it. In overtime. Fucking them all in the ass. How could you fuck up that bad? Cleveland, you had a great game. You were you were beating Miami. You were winning against Miami, and then you started losing. You blew it in overtime. What what happened? What happened to that performance in the first half and a good chunk of of the third quarter? Fucking just Jarvis Landry, damn dude, thirty two yard. 32 yard uh, game. 32 yards for um 
Who the fuck is their running back? Oh. Drake. Uh -huh. He's got that hotline bling. He ran in for a touchdown, I believe. I'm not sure. I think. No, it was um, AJ. AJ, I don't know how to say it. He ran in for the touchdown. My bad. Cody Parkey. Yeah. He didn't do too much. Kessler. Really? Zero touchdowns? Zero, zero, zero touchdowns? I think you guys wished you had McCown, huh? But you guys wish you had McCown. You are the shit stain in the AFC North Cleveland. Shit stain. Right now, anyway. Up by 20 points on Baltimore. Loses. Is beating Miami to the fourth quarter. Going to overtime and they fucking lose. Cody Parkey. You missed three fucking field goals, my nigga. Y'all could have won if you hit one of those. You missed the 46-yarder. Why would you? What the f Why would you try that if you missed the other? <laughs> There's only one saying for this. Only the Browns. Only the Browns do this bullshit. You already lost Robert Gr Oh, you lost Robert Griffin Nee and Josh McCown, so all you have left is Cody Kessler. To to start against Miami. Some trash. Why did you get Robert Griffin Nee, huh? Why? Why'd you want that nigga? What did you see in that nigga? I saw absolutely nothing. He fucking sucks. But Ryan Tannehill, shout out to you. You did fantastic in overtime. Fantastic. Three touchdowns, 319 yards. Great. Great performance. Vikings Panthers. I swear, this is there's only one of two huge upsets. Actually, one of three. Cam Newton. How do you score 10 points? First quarter. And then you go flat the entire rest of the fucking game. How do you do that? And the Vikings didn't even have Adrian Peterson. How the fuck did you lose? What the f... How? What? You some trash! Oh my god! Just what the fuck? Y'all niggas fucking suck. And Sam Bradford only had 171 yards. I bet you Jacob is a very not is not a happy camper right now. I bet you he's pissed the fuck off because I know I would be. Elson, you did all right. Ted Ginn, did all right. Cam Newton, nice one touchdown. You only won the entire fucking game. Because I'm... Cam Newton, you know what? I'm not going to bash Cam Newton. Because Cam Newton, the only nigga on that team that wanted to do anything. <sighs> Carolina, God. I, I don't even want to... How do the Vikings beat the one of the best teams in the NFL without Adrian Peterson? I don't fucking know. Oh, Broncos against Cincinnati. That's why AFC North is some 
trash ass motherfuckers, man. What the hell? It just it, you, this game should have been closer. But how do you niggas lose by twelve points? And Denver didn't even have the Marcus fucking wear. How the fuck you do that? That's my question. Just want to cry. Just want to cry. Anyways, I'll probably make this a two-parter because I'm getting a little tired. So, Make this a two-parter. Tune in for part two tomorrow after the Falcon Saints game so I can actually talk about that. Oh, uh, Actually, no. Before that, before I leave, let's talk about the Bills and the Cardinals. Arizona, I'll tell you something right now. This team right here. This team. The one that you blew the fuck out last year. They beat a team that you guys couldn't beat. First week. We beat Buffalo. We fucked them up. And y'all proceeded to get blown out. In the first half. You have to say for yourself, Arizona. David Johnson. How long did it take for you to actually start making run plays? Arizona's defense. How long did it take for you to try and stop the run from LaShawn McCoy and Ty Tyrod Taylor? Hmm? Y'all niggas got fucked up pretty bad. And y'all, and I thought every single bird team in the NFL was actually going to do good. I didn't really give a fuck about Atlanta because, you know, you know, and Philadelphia. But, you know, Philadelphia has proven themselves. Baltimore, you're doing all right. Arizona, what the fuck? Y'all blew out Tampa Bay. Then you got blown out by Buffalo. Ex explain yourselves. Explain yourselves. Because that was a very trash-ass performance. Carson Palmer, you prove what were you doing? Larry Fitz, what were you doing? Getting shut down? Larry Fitz, Larry Legend. The nigga that smoked Green Bay last year. <laughs> and I like Arizona, I do. I know a friend that likes Arizona a lot. And very, very surprising that y'all niggas just got, got fucked pretty bad. It's, it's a sad story. Oh, like I said, just tune in for part two tomorrow so I can talk about the fucking rest of the games and fucking Atlanta versus New Orleans so I can talk about how trash both teams are to an extent because Atlanta, you're doing all right. Oh, my God. just Arizona. Arizona and Carolina, you disappointed me. Disappointed me. Both of you guys went to the NFC Championships. And you got killed by shitty teams. Explain yourself. That's all I have to say is explain yourselves. Like I said, I'll be here tomorrow. Just have fun. Anyways, that's bye. See you in the next video.